Professor Shark, are we good to go with all the guidelines we have had through press releases across the country? Can you do a recap as we move on? Thank you very much. Um, the first is that um, the Nigerian Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs has um, met at different levels and have consulted. And uh, we have uh, issued the guideline. The first was that all Muslims should be on the lookout for the present of the Ramadan month on Thursday. So if the moon is sighted on Thursday, Ramadan starts on Friday. If it is not sighted, uh, His Eminence, the Sultan, if it is sighted, we will announce and we start on Friday. But if it is not sighted, automatically we start on Saturday. The second guideline is that given the circumstances of the situation, it has also the Fatwa Committee under Sheikh uh, Ibrahim Sharif Saleh met and uh, it was decided unanimously across the country that um, we would recommend to His Eminence the Sultan, and that had been done, and His Eminence has approved that we suspend Tarawih prayers in the mosque, not only Tarawih, Itikaf, that is seclusion that we do it towards the end of uh, Ramadan in the month, is also uh, uh, suspended for this uh, year. The same thing, Tarawi uh, prayers that we do at, in the evening should also be done individually by those who uh, are in, their, in our respective homes. This is to make sure that we comply with the directive of the Quran, because the Quran is so clear about it that we human beings, Muslims in particular, should not uh, cast themselves into things that will be destructive to their lives. And uh, that is uh, the Holy Quran, chapter 2, verses, verse 195. So we also decided that we hardly prepare for death. Many people don't even want to hear about death, but it's certain that one way or the other, it will come when we least expect. And as a result of that, we have also issued comprehensive guidelines on what will happen in case a Muslim dies during the COVID, how to respect and obey all the regulations and make sure that we do not endanger the lives of others. We have also, apart from the website of the Nigeria Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, we have uh, play, we are placing this in different national dailies and we are distributing this and we are also communicating with all the uh, governors to say disposition of uh, the Nigerian Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs is that there should be no congregational prayer during uh, this period, just as we have, even Juma service had been suspended, not to talk of Tarawi prayer, which is uh, not obligatory. We have issued comprehensive guidelines on each and every one of it. For example, we, it's an opportunity for Dawah. God, the dawah we make, the tefsir we make, all these are just come within uh, people who have opportunity to be physically present. But we have said that we should use the social media, the traditional media, the print to disseminate dawah act activities. We are not saying that we should suspend dawah activities or we should not preach, but those who do their tefsir, you just do your tefsir in the mosque, it's recorded and it's relayed. The audience will be wider than the audience that we either to give this to. And uh, we have also appealed to the media that uh, given the circumstances of this time, we should uh, make sure that we give reasonable uh, uh, discounts to uh, people who want to air on the television because we are used to the traditional thing. But it's an opportunity for us through radio, through television, through Zoom, through all sorts of uh, social and electronic media that are available that we will reach to more people with uh, try to make sure that people uh, understand what we are doing. And more importantly, we have also called on all Muslims Nobody 
who is uh, alive today will have nothing, will say, I have nothing to thank God for. Each and every one of us may not be as good as we want, but we are better one way or the other than others. Therefore, let us extend whatever blessing God has given to us to the other. We shouldn't think that it should be done by others. If you have two, you can give part of the two. If you have uh, one, you can still give part of the one. Let us be our brother's keepers. More importantly, when we now realize that our neighbors are not actually our neighbors now, they are part of us. Because what happens to your neighbor happens to you. This has been clearly brought to me by this uh, COVID-19 uh, uh, COVID, uh, uh, pandemic. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we should know that we are together in the same boat and therefore nobody should feel that if your brother is suffering that you can claim in any way that you are not suffering we should share part of the sufferings of the others and these guidelines that the nigerian supreme council for islamic affairs had uh, issued uh, after uh, receiving the approval of the of uh, the president general uh, they are to guide everybody just as muslims as we are too are done and this had been communicated to muslim organizations across the country mm.